Destroy what? We have a lot to show you. Okay, I think we have all the parts we need. Let's get to work. This! Yes? Yes! It's working! Miserable little prophet. I can't believe that you stick around them. <laughs> Bunch of cheats! Oh, and off backs. I thought I'd never see one again. Thanks, thanks for repairing me. Tachyon carved up the city with his army of Drophids. It was a cruel act of retaliation. If only he had known how evil the Kragmites were. Who? Oh, if they had won the Great War, the entire universe would have fallen under their terrible rule. Unpleasant, dreadful, dreadful, dreadful little creatures from planet Zorit. Tachyon bought their loyalty with Raritanium and recruited them for his own personal army. I couldn't say, really. Probably to steal their technology. All his ships, his enforcers, even the nanotech combat armor he gave the Drophids, are all made using stolen Lombax technology. I am sorry. My memory bank seems to have been damaged in the crash. The last thing I remember was laying down suppressive fire over the court of Azur. Of course. I am equipped with an HD-47 optical holoscreen. Hop in. Mad for mayhem, grave carnage, adore destruction? Well, today is your lucky day. You have been invited to participate, oops, I mean, witness, the greatest, bloodiest, goriest battle in the universe, the Imperial Fight Festival. Rated M for mature. Come on down to Planet Mukau and enjoy a night of entertainment without any ulterior motives or deception. Offer only valid for fuzzy, long-eared orphans and their tiny robotic companions. That sounded like Captain Quark. Which means it's probably a trap. But it's our only lead. Let's go see what he's got what he's gotten himself into.
gentlemen, join me in welcoming our guest of honor, your Kragmite overlord and my new best friend, Emperor Tachyon! Let the battle begin! Okay, troopers, it's time to welcome our first major contender. You know him, you love him, you bleed. Congratulations! You remind me of me when I was a young fighter. Only shorter and less strapping. Quark, do you mind telling us what you're doing working for Tachyon? Oh, just a little thing I like to call saving the universe. There I was, surrounded by Tachyon's minions, perched on the brink of certain death, staring into the icy precipice of the inevitable. I knew I had to take action. I engaged my foes, channeling days of kung fu classes, and dispatching my crouching kitten style with lethal precision. But alas, these rock-hard pecs and unbridled machismo can only hold out for so long. After destroying two thousand of them, my lucky shot rendered me unconscious. For the safety of the good citizens of Kurwan, I swore allegiance to Tachyon's army and became his confidant. Which means you used your powers as a world-class suck-up to save your own hide. A oh, little column A, little column B. Here, take this. It'll explain everything. Well, the optical relay is damaged, but maybe you can find a ship to play, to play it on. Great! Quit messing around and get over here! I have boils that require lancing. <laughs> Coming, Your Excellence! Pray for me. All right. Let's find out what Tachyon's up to. Greetings, inferior beings of Polaris. Does your life lack a sense of purpose? Do you constantly worry about finding steady income? Do you like killing stuff? Then join the Imperial Army and aid me in my humble quest for galactic domination. Here you'll travel to new places, meet interesting people, and execute them in the name of me. Hold the phone! Did you just say I could meet interesting people? Why, yes, I did, celebrity hero Captain Quark. That sounds terrific! Tell me more! It's simple. Somewhere in this galaxy is the filthy Lombax secret responsible for the Kragmite defeat. As an official Tachyon trooper, your job will be to ravage every planet until it is found. Leave no stone unturned, no rebel spared. Exterminate anyone who stands in your way! All for a tidy salary and competitive benefits package. Wow! All that and travel too? Indeed. Take the Nundak asteroid ring, for example. Our spies have learned that the secret may be hidden here on this remote moon base. If you sign up by tonight, you can join in on the raid. Emperor Tachyon is an equal opportunity oppressor. Hmm. Do you think this Lombax secret could be the weapon used to vaporize the Kragmites? Whatever it is, we need to get to it before Tachyon does. This must be the transport to the station, but how do we get the launch code? We ought to warn you that the owner of that there station ain't accustomed to visitors. And why should we trust you? You ejected us into space! Apologies, my friend. Tell you what, allow us to make it up to you. Some space pirates from Ardolis have offered us bolts for Leviathan souls. Why, if you were to go and fetch some for us, we would happily give you the launch code. Bob! Bob Max has a death wish! Bob! Yeah, he used to belong to an explorer named Max Apogee. Nobody's seen him in ages. Rumor is, it's been taken over by two fierce warbots, bloodthirsty warriors from the days of the Great War. Some say it's the weapon that swallowed the entire Kragmite planet with a single shot. 
A vaporization ray cooked up by the Lombaxes when the Great War had reached a stalemate. Of course, nobody really knows for sure. Oh, them Lombaxes knew how to keep a secret, which is some a person in my business can appreciate. <laughs> Old Percival had the Hall of Knowledge closed down to prevent folks from learning that piece of history. But from what I've been told, everything from this here asteroid to the furthest reaches of Praxis 12 once fell under the tyrannical rule of them Kragmites. Well, that is, until the Lombaxes led a revolt against them, freeing the galaxy. The Kragmites were the biggest threat the universe had ever seen. Vile, murderous, dim-witted creatures who moved from galaxy to galaxy, using and discarding planets after depleting all their natural resources. <laughs> if you ask me, the galaxy owes the Lombaxes a debt of gratitude. If only they could have taken Tachyon with them when they left. Whatever weapon your race used to defeat the Kragmites is somewhere here, in Polaris. And Tachyon wants it bad. If he found out there was a Lombax left in the universe, well, that could be enough to make old Percival nervous. <laughs> he wouldn't want history repeating itself on him, you know what I mean? Who, this little guy? Oh yeah, I won him in a game of Blargy and Roulette against Captain Slag. <laughs> Almost cost me my one good eye. Well, thank you kindly, friend. Transport vessel's primed and ready. You all take care now.